Today we're diving into the latest update from Blender Octane with 4.1 and I've heard a little bit of rumors that it's also working on 4.2 for some. Many people are happy that we do have a seamless integration into Blender, vanilla Blender, using the Octane add-on plugin to really help enhance your workflow and get the benefits of the Blender Octane render. Many of us Blender Octane users are raving about now how easy it is to seamlessly integrate Octane into Blender and to to enhance our workflow and take advantage of the Octane render. But is it as good as it sounds? In my Blender Octane School community, I have some members who are saying that it's working fantastically on 4.1 and in 4.2, while I also have some other members who said they've had issues using it on 4.2, but it worked okay on 4.1. If you're using Blender 4.1 or maybe even 4.2, this might be a great opportunity for you to enhance your workflow by using the Octane Render. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys where to get this and how to set it up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. If you are new to this channel, I make content on how to get started using Blender Octane. Enough of my jibba jabba, let's get straight into the video. All right guys, so let's get this set up and installed on your system. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to quickly jump in my community. I have a post where I save this. This is one thing good about the community. We have these posts and everything is up to date. We kind of inform each other of what's happening in the world of Blender Octane. I'm going to put this link down in the description here. And again, it was kind of, it's kind of, kind of hard to find this link. And this is on the Octane form. Like you won't just find this sitting on their website. This is on the Octane form here. So I'll have the link down in the description. Here it is, Octane Blender add-on. 2.9 beta release test. Typically, some of this stuff will only be released for people who are actually paying for Blender Octane, which is the studio version. The prime version is us, the view, the free tier users. We can use it for free. So there is a difference. There's a studio version, which is paid, and then there is a prime version. Uh, on their website, you could read the differences between the paid version and the the uh, prime version one thing you will need to do is make sure you sign up and make an account because you might need that at some point to start your server you'll need to put in your account information so make sure you log in make an account get an old toy account problems i mean properly set up and you'll be ready to go then you're going to click on this link what we're going to do here we want all platforms here is the blender add-on okay so if we jump over here we want blender add-ons all platforms studio and prime we're going to go ahead and download that then after downloading that, we're gonna need the Octane server next. Now, if you look here, the Studio Edition, that's for the paid people. Prime Edition, this is for us free tier users. So we want the Prime Edition. So we're gonna also download this here. Also, here are the instructions. We're gonna need to download the add-on and the server files. That's this and that's this. And then unzip the add-on server in any location on your hard drive. That's going to be this one here, the Octane server. We're gonna unzip that launch the octane add-on server we'll need to launch that and this is sometimes you may need to put in your password your octane account information you may need to do that there i'm not too exactly sure i've already done it several times so it may not ask me and then next it says launch blender and from preferences add-on install the blender add-on so we'll install this here like we typically do any other add-on in the blender we're going to go select file new octane default setup quit blender and then launch Blender again. All right, so let's get into it. So I've got my one file here. Here is the actual plugin, and I've already unzipped the server prime. If we click on that, here it is, Octane Server Prime. Double click on that, and we're going to need to activate this. This is activating the server. Now, typically you do need to have an internet connection so it can connect to the server and do its jibba jabba in the background. And already I'm getting an air socket. That might be because I might be already having my other server, other Blender of Blender Octane. Okay, here it is. This one is actually on right here. You can click on it. It says active. Okay, it is activated. Good. So FYI, I did use, I do have two versions. I have the Blender Octane standalone version and I have the, the, uh, the plugin, which I'm doing right now. And last night I did have some confliction. Like I had some issues with my servers and I've never had issues with my servers, but until I had them both on my computer now, I had an issue. FYI, if you're running both versions of Blender Octane, you might want to be take note of that. So after this video, I will be deleting the the plugin because I'm happy with the add-on until the the plugin becomes out of beta. Then I will switch over. Till then, I just want to keep a. a if it ain't broke, then why fix it? Why fix it? And it's not broken for me. Back to the video. 
All right, so we've got that already fired up. Now what we're going to need to do next is we're gonna to need to activate Blender and activate the plugin. So let's jump into Blender. All right, so I've got Blender 4.1 fired up here. And to be exact, I'm using 4.11, okay? That's the version that I am using at the moment. We're gonna go into Edit, Preferences, and then I'm going to go into here, Install, Blender Octane Add-on 2.9. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. All right, boom, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the checkbox and I'm gonna keep everything stock. I'm not gonna change anything at the moment, okay? Keep all that stock, go ahead and make sure you save your preferences and then close that out. From there, it, then it said, once we have get that activated, I think we needed to close Blender and then reactivate. Actually, no, we need to go to File, Octane Default Setup, boom. Okay, we are here and then it says, to close out Blender. So we're gonna go ahead and close out Blender. Go ahead and reactivate Blender, we are back in. And just for the sake of it again, I'm gonna go to File, New, Octane Default Setup. Now if we go ahead and hit the Render button, boom, you've got Octane running. You've got Octane running. You've got Octane running. People on Cinema 4D are paying $60 a month or more for this Octane render, and you've got it for free. Smash that like button if you guys just smash the like button. <laughs> right. OK, so here we are. You're in Blender Octane. But let me quickly just give you for those of you who hung around this far a little bit of extra tidbit. Right. Right now we are using the direct kernel, which is a kind of like it's like a good kernel rendering engine. If you're working on animation, you just want to get some quick renders out. It's good, but it's not the super, you know, good renderer high all the goods all the goodies on top right so what we're going to do is i'm going to turn that off and i'm going to quickly come over here to the side right where i'm in the way at right i'm going to go ahead and just there we go so what we're going to do is you're going to come in here and we're going to go to octane and we want to change our kernel our kernel right now is set to direct lighting okay that's that's not the juicy one we want to set that to path tracing kernel right here okay select that the path tracing kernel and then here are your render samples. Here's your preview samples. This is stuff's all, you know, default. It's all cranked up a little bit high, but you know, adjust these to your likings. I got plenty of videos on my channel to help you guys out with stuff like this and the discord to help you guys out. Okay. So now that we've got a render kernels, let's jump back over here, fire up this render here. It doesn't noticeably look any different, but trust me, there is a lot going on in the back, right? So what, what we could do from here is we could go ahead. Let me quickly just show you how to add in the HDRI because a lot of people just don't want to use the default sky system. Here is our world setup here. Here's our sun direction. You can use this to dial in the sun direction by time, date, month, right? And so that's the sun here. And then you can also quickly change this sun model. Like for example, if we kind of scroll this out, it's on the Octane Daylight System. You guys might be familiar with the Nishida data system, a uh, daylight system, which they have inside of Blender Cycles, right? Check that out. There it is. You can change that to that. And then you'll get this, but whatever. We're going to go ahead and set up an HDRI. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill all of this. Or matter of fact, a lot of times I just hit stop and I go new and there, boom, we've got this texture environment. And what we want to do from here is go RGB image. You want to add in the RGB image. We're going to add an RGB image node, and then we're also going to add in a projection. We're going to go to spherical projection, and then we're going to click this little plus button, and that's going to add in this 3D transform. Plug this projection into the projection, plug the texture out into the texture, and now we see nothing because we need to load in an HDRI. And once I get your HDRI loaded, boom, there it is. You're like, well, that looks like crap. Well, it's a little bit blown out right now just because the exposure is set pretty high. One thing that's nice when we do this default setup like this, it automatically sets our color, our space up. If we scroll down to the bottom here, right here, it says always use raw transform for octane, right? Always raw transform that is set up and everything is good to go. Okay. What we need to do now is like the thing about octane is we use the camera imager to really kind of dial in our exposure and stuff like that instead of adjusting the world because in real life you can't just adjust the world like you can't just turn the sun down right i mean you could if you want to but i typically work pretty much like this i use the camera imager because this is the exposure of the camera right and now you can clearly see what's happening and what's going on there if we jump into the camera here and let's just get a little bit of better of a shot, something that we can see there. And now you can see, here's my exposure for the camera. And if I had to hold shift, boom, we can dial that in, get that set up to where you want. 
this is pretty much like how the lighting is for this HDRI, right? If I was to change it up to something different. Now I got the brown studio look here and you can clearly see I got some more headroom on that. We can kind of boost that up a little bit there. Okay, boom, check it out. Look at that, that looks gorgeous. That looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course we can just go ahead and bring this down all this you can start tweaking your windows and you know it's, it just it's blender right it's the same thing it's blender i mean it's pretty snappy right it's pretty snappy so from here what you're going to do is down in the descriptions i have a gumroad page on my gumroad page i have a, a free blender startup file that will kind of help you get set up with the, the viewport and everything or you can just build your own off of this but i have a whole bunch of free assets in there that you guys can do materials all kinds of cool stuff that's just for blender octane Go there, check that out. I have a Discord. Go to the Discord server, log into the Discord server so you guys can get some help if you got some questions. But if you're already hardcore, if you're coming from Cinema 4D and you're just tired of paying that and you just want to get, you know, you're jumping on the band, the bandwagon for Blender, I got a paid community. Well, there's a lot of Cinema 4D members in there who are just getting into Blender. They want to get straight to the good stuff. The community, we're, we're super tight there. We, we just, we help each other out. We've got premium assets, all that down in the description. Take a look at that. Take a look at this video.